Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be mixing it up and doing something a little bit different for you guys. I know that in the past you are, are you are, okay, nervous, that's why I don't do these videos. The awesome. Don't wear lip gloss when you're filming. <laughs> Everyone. welcome back to my channel today I thought I would try something a little bit different for you guys I know in the past you are used to mostly looking at my hands and I was looking at some of my videos last year and wanted to make my channel a little more fun this year a little more interesting and a little more personal and engaging with you guys so one of my most requested videos actually is to do like a face a face video so you guys can see the person behind the camera. Um, for the longest time, I was really nervous to do these types of videos. I'm still very nervous today, but I'm going to try my best to get through it, and uh, hopefully you guys will like it. So in today's video, I am going to be organizing and um, decluttering my planner card. It's an absolute mess right now. I've just been throwing stuff in it for the past few months, and it's just I've had it so I went to the dollar store I got some inserts and today I'm going to show you how to make your Michaels planner cart as efficient as possible if you haven't already click subscribed please go ahead and click that button also don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos let's get started okay so um, this is my Oh, you know what, let's do like a little corner tour here. So this is like my little desk area as it is now. Um, I have my calendar, have some motivational um, pictures there, my printer, some little owls for my son and my daughter, my planner cart, um, a couple things I just purchased, which I'll show you guys in a second. And it's looking out over the window uh, outside, which is really nice because then I'm able to plan while I'm looking out and, you know, can feel like I'm still getting some sunshine and stuff even when I'm inside um I want to show you guys oh, okay this is my desk right now it's a bit of a mess um it needs some love <laughs> one of my projects uh this coming week is to clear this um this is my current filming setup it's literally um what's it called not uh a telescope stand with two lights and look how sad guys. I literally have my son's webcam taped on here. It is literally like the ultimate beginner setup. So that's why my videos sometimes are not the best quality, but I am working on it. Um, I'm really liking this light so far. I'm actually even plugged into the wall. I don't know if you can see that. I literally just took it out of the box. And so let me know what you think. Hopefully the lighting's a little bit better in this video. You know, that's also been a thing that has been hard for you guys to see. So what I got today is I got a planner cart in rose gold, which I am going to be setting up in a different video. I also got, let's see if I can step over here, a finally, where's the thing here? A washi, like a container for my washi rolls. Believe it or not, after all these years, I still don't have one of these. And I always see you guys with these on Instagram. Let's take it out of the box here. And this one I actually got from Michael's. And this is what it looks like. So I'm going to be in a different video probably as well, organizing my washi collection. And then today's goal is to take on this beast right here. For those of you who follow me on Instagram, um, a lot of you might already know that we had a bit of a rough start to the beginning of the year. We had several losses in my family um, and just that combined with like a very long lockdown, you know, um, and just other stresses from like work. Um, my daughter's health was not the best this year. Um, I just, it was just 
getting anxious all the time and, and I fell into a bit of a depression. Um, I needed some time to grieve. I needed some time to focus and, and be with my family. So thank you to all of you who have stayed with me and are back and have supported me this whole time. You guys are amazing. And I just am so grateful and so touched for all of your guys' love and friendship and comments. So thank you very much. I really have appreciated all of it. Um, but that's partly why my planner area has been such a disaster. It literally looks like a tornado blew over it. Um, I just... I took those six months away, literally not just from Instagram and YouTube, but I didn't, I walked away from that desk the day I got that phone call uh, when my uncle died and I didn't step back on that desk until probably mid-May when I was uh, planning to come back. Um, but at that time I was busy with, you know, getting launch stuff, placing orders, um, working, uh, being with the kids and just trying to get Instagram and YouTube up and running again. So that's been kind of my, was my first priority. And then I knew that I was going to come back and do my desk and I figured that I could make some videos out of it and uh, take you guys along with me for that journey. I also really love watching organizational videos and like decluttering videos. Um, so I don't know if you guys do too, but I love them. So I thought that it might be fun to do one myself for you. Um, so that'll be one of my next upcoming videos. And um, yeah, so I'm going to start off by emptying out or no, I'm going to start off by showing you what is in there and then I will empty everything out and put it back in. Okay, so the other few things that I got uh, that's going to help me out for today because these are going to be let's get this out of the way, for a different video are some organizers. Oh, so I found out, I got some of these, I was like playing around with them and if I could find a drawer that's like even empty enough. So when you open a drawer, I figured out that I could fit three of these side by side for one drawer. So I got a couple of these and I also got some straight ones and a couple bins as well. So let's get started. Sorry, just a quick break. I want to go turn on the air conditioning. I didn't realize it was like 40 degrees. <laughs> so, which is crazy because yesterday it was freezing cold and we were like having stew and had to wear a sweater. So it's just crazy I, how fast the weather changes here in Canada. All right, so I'm gonna show you what the before looks like, and then I will show you what it looks like at the end. So this top drawer, what have I gotten here? I have some beautiful planner bands. These are from Nani's Custom Creations. She makes some really gorgeous ones. They have like a no slip grip on the back so they don't slide off. So I have some of these an extra random sticker here for some reason, some plastics, some tissue paper for when like I send like giveaways and stuff like that. So I just like to have some stuff on hand, especially with COVID because stuff was not always open. So it wasn't always like available to just like run and grab some. I have some paper clips here. You're probably wondering like, why do I have like a million boxes of paper clips? One of the projects that I was actually getting ready to take on before um, COVID hit was um, I was actually going to be trying to make my own planner charms. So I was going to like put these on like paper clips, open like an Etsy shop or something like that. So I had gotten a whole bunch of stuff and I was like getting ready to do that and then just haven't gotten around to it. So I'm hoping to still maybe do that sometime in the future. Um, it's something that I would like to do and, um, just have to get around to it and get all this other stuff organized first. This, this is like some little pill containers. Um, I do take a bit of medication every day. So one of my other projects is to, I wanted to, um, fill these up so I could stay a little more organized and not forget to take any of them. And my daughter helped me <laughs> put some cute little decorations on. She likes to help me a lot, which is awesome. And then, really, this is, oh, this is like a little adhesive. This is sticky. And you could put this in your planner uh, to make a pen holder. So you like stick it onto one of the pages and then you can have a little pen with you at all times. So I got this from one of my orders from Erin Condren. So... I've been looking for this actually for a while and I didn't realize it was in here. So that's good. And I've got some bookmarks as well. 
So that's good. Next drawer I have got, what have I got? Some unopened washi tapes that I had purchased probably right before um, everything happened. There's some tape, my uh, glue dot runner, which I showed you in one of my planning videos, how I use that. And then as you can see, my washi collection is like literally all over the place. Like none of this stuff even makes sense. I have stickers from Erin Condren. I have, what is this, a planny, planny pouch, planning pouch, and some random rulers, and some whiteouts, a couple of different whiteouts because as a planner, I use it a lot and I go through it really quickly. This is actually like an old planner that I didn't get to use from last year that I have here sticky noted to give to Olivia, my daughter, to um, play with when she's done the current planner that she's in. And then I have some of these, which I was going to use to help with my washi collection at first, but then I just decided to go with the, like the washi bin instead. I don't know. I just like the way that it looks. Um, I have so much washi that the ring system didn't even really even make sense. Like if I just had a couple, like this could be okay. Um, but yeah. Next we have some inserts. So we have like the tra travel inserts. I love these. These are fantastic for like, um, this one in particular, it's like a packing list that you just put into the week that you're traveling. So for example, in two weeks, we're going to the cottage. And so what I do is I put this in like the week before and I start slowly packing what I need and for the kids. And then there's a section for others as well so that we can kind of customize our own, our own list as well. And then so I have one of those. I have a party planner one because whenever I was um, planning the kids' birthday parties or like Thanksgiving or Christmas, this was really handy for like decorations, supplies, activities, menu, guest list, all in one area and you can keep it right before the event and everything is in one place and these are erasable as well, which is awesome. So they are reusable. You just have to get the like erasable pens from Erin Condren or wherever, a dollar store. Anything that really erases can be fine. This is for monthly bills. So I got one of these, but then I was going to use it. I might still use it, but I also got an actual budget planner. So we'll see. I'm going to try it a couple different things this year and see what works better. And then these are just like, I don't even know, like just loose, like random, random stickers from like Happy Planner, Erin Condren, the dollar store. Like this is just like a kind of a mess really. <laughs> so that's in here somehow. I don't know. I haven't found a, haven't organized my sticker collection yet. Have some more washi. I think the rest of this is just washi. Washi. Washi and Harley's hair, of course, everywhere. Washi, 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 and oh, I was looking for these. These are actually my daughter's. <laughs> That's probably why they're in here. She's probably playing. And um, so, yeah, so these are going to go back to my daughter with her new planner. And yeah, so that's it, guys. That is the current sad state of my planner cart. I got it in turquoise, but I also like rose gold. So that's why I got this one in rose gold as well. I like the way those two colors look together. And yeah, this bag is a planner bag that I love and it's called Plan All The Things. It's from Emily Cup Plans and um, I can link her in the bottom below because I like her shop and she's got some really cute like little mugs and t-shirts and bags. So super cute. All right. Right. 
So as you can see, the drawers are now all empty and everything is on the floor. So I am going to be showing you the piles that I ended up with and then um, I'm going to start putting in these inserts and putting everything in its new place. So sorry about that. I just had to uh, unplug this and replug it into a different area. So these are the piles that I have so far. Um, in here, I don't know if you guys, if I showed you this, this is just where I have my bows so far. Um, those are all the beautiful bows that I have. And these are all my planner clips. This is how I am currently storing them right now. But as you can see, they're both kind of slowly getting um, pretty full. So it's going to be time soon for kind of a new storage idea for these. I've got my planner bands, my flower clips, some gift cards, so you don't want to lose those, and uh, discounts, some other cards, more of Harley's hair, <laughs> bookmarks, um, page, uh, these little page things. I totally forgot what these are called, but I'll link it down below. They're the ones that I write on for like school and stuff for the week for the kids and like like Monday to Sunday when I keep track of their homework in the fall. Um, I did a little video on this last year when I was setting up my planner. I'll link that above so you can um, take a look at that. And then this is the stickers, some white out. These are all my pen refills from the beautiful. So as you can tell, I'm getting quite a pen collection for her too because these come with every pen that you order. The white out and the tissue paper. And I still don't know if I'm going to use these or what I'm going to do with these. This is the stuff that I'm not going to be using um, uh, today or putting back in. So the washi rolls I'm going to be doing in a different video. Same thing with these stickers. I have to figure out what I'm going to be doing with my like extra stickers. It's just a mess right now. It's all over, not just here, but like there's piles of it all over my desk. So I got to figure out a system that works for these. And then this is going to go into our cupboard with all the medication and get these sorted out. And then these are going to go to my daughter, which is where they're supposed to go in the first place. So I am going to start organizing and put these all in the planner cart.
All right, guys, so I am all done, and I'm so excited with how it turned out. Um, I've also got like one or two empty drawers left so that I will have some space for all that stuff that's going to need a home <laughs> from my desk. So I'm kind of glad that I started with this first because that did actually clear up quite a bit of the mess that was around. And um, it's going to allow me to now, when I clear my desk, to go into a better foundation. And now that I already kind of have a system started... Um, so it's a good first step and I'm excited to continue the process and continue it with you guys and let's take a look. So this is going to be the grand reveal and I actually have some three boxes that I had uh, left over from some of my planners which ended up fitting perfectly in here so super happy and this is the first one. So I just organized my bows so they're a little bit easier to find. Um, as my collection grows, I'll probably add a second shelf um, because I love bows and I use them in every spread. So we've got like Christmas bows, blue bows, um, just like white background with a pattern. These are like light pink, peach, like pink patterned, darker pink, blue patterned, florals. And then these two just kind of random because I didn't really have anything that matched. I'm surprised I didn't have more purple bows actually as I was going through it. You can tell my favorite color is pink, though, because I have, like, a whole column <laughs> just for that color. So that's the top shelf. The second shelf, um, I have my whiteout, my pen refills, and my, like, kind of glue dots and my tape. I also put my um, coupons here uh, so I know where they are and I can use them next time I place another order from Erin Condren. So I have my planner bands in here. I have my like little positive cards, um, my little bookmarks, my tweezers, my scissors. The nice thing about these two is that you can actually push them back. So it actually gives you even more room on in the front and I could probably find something else. Actually, do these fit sideways? Probably. Oh, they do. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so there we go. I didn't even try that before. So you get extra space and you can use it just as it is, which is what I'm doing now. Or you can get a fourth one of these. I don't know if I told you guys. I think I told you. Anyways, these are from the dollar store. They were $2.50 each. Really nice quality. And um, definitely worth it because I like that everything is not just kind of thrown in here. Helter Skelter. I can actually find everything now, so that's exciting. This is where I'm going to be keeping all of my planner clips. Um, and then I took the floral clips out because those are different and I... I hate like having to go through this bin looking for them all the time. So they're all right here, ready to go. The next drawer, I kind of kept all of my like inserts together. And for some reason, I have three of these. So actually, no, that's a lie. Not for some reason. I mean, I have a fourth one <laughs> on my desk. And I use it to cut washi. And um, I guess I really shouldn't be that surprised because the one comes with each planner. So I have had four planners um, recently, and I, I don't know where the other ones are, probably somewhere, but anyways, I think I'm, I'm good. I think I have enough. <laughs> so that's in that drawer. In this drawer here, I just have like some like stickers and stuff. I might move this stuff around. This is just kind of like a rough kind of where I want everything for now. As I organize the rest of my desk, there's my planner pouch and just some other pen pouches that I got. I got these from Michaels. These are so cute. Love llamas, love unicorns. This one says nope, which is awesome. I love the expression. Some days we just need this one, right? Um, and then, yeah, so I ended up with two empty drawers in the middle. And then down here, I just kept this drawer for my tissue paper and some plastic wrap for when I send away my giveaways for YouTube and on Instagram. And then this, I just put these all back down in the bottom drawer for when I'm ready to make some planner clips. And that is it. All right, guys. So that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I do have some, like a lot of fun, different, exciting videos planned for this year. And uh, so hopefully you guys will follow along. Um, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have a similar planner cart from Michaels and are looking to maximize 
your organization and your storage. If you guys have any tips of your own or tricks that you use, I'd love to hear them uh, in the comments below. And hope everyone's staying safe and enjoying this summer. And I will see you in the next one. Have a good day, guys. Bye. Thank you.